So we had an amazing stay last night at the Little America Hotel here in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I'm gonna go in and get us all checked out and show you just a little bit more of this beautiful place before we take off to our next destination for the weekend. Well, we are back on the road. On the road again! <laughs> I just can't wait to get on the road again! Where are we headed next, Jamie? We are heading to Page, Arizona, which is a two hour drive north of Flagstaff, where we're just leaving. Thank you, Mr. Truck, Mr. Diesel, for driving by so loudly <laughs> while I try to speak to the camera. And uh, we're just gonna go up there and check out some of the beauty that Arizona has. We, uh, we're, we were amazed yesterday by the Grand Canyon. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a great stay in Flagstaff. An amazing meal last night. I'm not sure this trip oh. could get any better. I'm almost worried. I feel like we should just wrap it up and go home right now <laughs> and shut it down because things have gone well and eventually something will happen that's Ooh. disastrous. But for now, we're heading Let's to Page. Let's not say that, Jamie. Two hour drive and uh, we're gonna see some beauty uh, of Arizona. That's right. And I'm excited to check out Horseshoe Bend. Okay, so what is up everybody? It's Jamie, Sharon, and Matthew here from I don't even know where. We are about 20 minutes outside of Page on our way from Flagstaff. And we have seen some amazing, amazing sights. The landscape has been just gorgeous, has it, it not? It has. I mean, I don't know if you can see with our heads here, but you can see a little bit of it behind us. Oh my it's, gosh. It's just spectacular. It's crazy. It is. It's like a constant off, like off view of the of what we've already seen at the Grand Canyon. It's just amazing. So we pulled over here. There's a scenic outlook. We'll give you a little shot of this. I'm not going to lie. I really, really wish I could throw the drone in the air, but between the wind out here and the laws here on the land, it is a no, no. We are currently uh, located on, uh, on in the Navajo Nation, the Navajo Indian tribe. Uh, they own all this land out here. And, um, and that you is know, definitely, drones are a yes. no-no here. They're a no-no, okay, you don't want to mess problem. around out here. There's no shenanigans. <laughs> even me, even I, am not gonna go ahead and try to throw a curveball. So, uh, um, but we're gonna soak it in. We're gonna share it with you guys. Take a look as we move out of the way. Here, you can just see the amazing shot of the mountains behind us. It's fantastic. All right, guys, well, where are we now? We are at Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend, and Matthew, that's located where? That is in Page, Arizona. You're absolutely right. We have made it here to Horseshoe Bend. There's a large parking area. They have facilities as far as going potty. <laughs> so that was nice and a necessity after a nice two hour drive. Our last stop, we had an amazing scenic overlook. This overlook promises to be a little more scenic than the last one. I think so. So uh, we're gonna go in. It was 10 bucks to get in here for a vehicle, so that's not a bad deal. And uh, we're going to go check things out and see what uh, what this whole Horseshoe Bend deal is all about. So come on, let's do it. Oh my gosh, we have finally made it to Horseshoe Bend. It's an, am as an amazing view as you see in pictures. There's a thousand foot drop down to the Colorado River here. And it is just gorgeous. Take a look.
Okay, so what do you think, Horseshoe Bend? Was it uh, as amazing as we hoped it would be? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, Matthew, the view was spectacular, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. but Matthew was a little concerned. He was like, hey, man, we just saw the Grand Canyon. Is Horseshoe Bend really going to wow me? But I think it did. Yeah, it's just a little different. It has a lot of, um, you know, the scenery around it has some similarities, you know, with the red rock and the kind of different colored rocks and things like that. So that's it. So checking out from Horseshoe Bend, it was an amazing time. You need to come here and check it out yourself. 1,000 bottles of beer on the wall, 1,000 bottles of beer, you take one down and pass it around, 999 bottles of beer on the wall, sing it Sharon. So we are headed, I think back to Flagstaff, I think that's the plan right now, we just left Horseshoe Bend, but we had to stop for a McFlurry for the road trip back to Flagstaff. So we're headed, headed back there. I think we're going to have dinner there. Well, hold on, Sharon. How did we well, come to process the thought <laughs> that we're not going to go spend the night in Page and we, we decide to go back? I mean, what's the thought process? Well... The people at home want to know. Our plan was to go to Horseshoe Bend and um, hang around Page, then head to Sedona for a while, and then possibly home late tonight, or maybe spend the night somewhere and go home in the morning. But it's getting pretty late in the day we hung out in Horsham Bend probably longer than we had planned there's it's just so beautiful and so much to see there that uh, we don't really have time to go to Sedona unless we want to go in the dark and you know there's not there's nothing to see in the dark not cool <laughs> Sedona in the dark not cool so now we're thinking about dinner so we're like where can we have dinner and there really wasn't a lot of options except for fast food and page so that's why we stopped and got a little snack I got a McFlurry to hold us over until dinner and there were some cool places in Flagstaff last night, some other cool places besides the one place we ate. So we're going to go check it out and see what else we can find. Hold on, let me just say this. You mentioned uh, the first thing we saw, I'm sorry, the first thing we saw in Page were some fast food places. Now, we weren't totally in the city, um, so there are other restaurants there to eat at. But we just didn't want to have a, a, a sit-down meal, spend an hour and a half, and then be driving home at night. Um, and uh, we just figured the best bet would be to head back to Flag now and reassess our situation when we get there. Well, guess where we are now? So we were headed back home and we were kind of thinking we wanted to see a little more, do some more, and it was getting kind of late. So we decided to stop in Flagstaff again tonight because we had such an amazing time here last night at the Little America Hotel. So we thought we would stay here again tonight and that way in the morning when we wake up, we're gonna kind of drive into Sedona for a little while and check some things out there on our way back home. All right, Matthew, well, here we are waiting for your beautiful, amazing mother, Sharon from Sharon Sea Travel, and um, we're going to get some food. Where, uh, you know the name of the place we're going to go check out? I believe it's called El Tapatio. El, El Tapatio, Mexican El place? El Tapatio, El we've, Tapio. We've gotten really lucky the last two nights staying at this beautiful a uh, cool little hotel that we've been at. The Both restaurants we chose to go to, literally five minute drive. All right, so we made it to Il Tapatio. It's a cool little joint here, very festive, very decorative. Looks awesome, and we're gonna go to our table now. Let's check it out. Hello folks, can I get you something to drink tonight? Maybe a margarita, some chips and salsa? All right, quick update. The servers are on point. Moments after we sat down, our server came over to get drink orders. Uh, immediately followed by chips and salsa. Check it out. I don't know what that is. Is that some kind of a pico, a white pico? I don't know what it is. What do you think that is, Sharon? I don't know. It looks good, though. Looks like it has some Okay, well, one of us are going to have to try it. You going to go first? Check it out. I'm not a big onion fan, but we'll Get in there and see what happens. I hope it's super spicy I hot. It blows your lid. I hope it doesn't have jalapeno. It does have jalapeno. Okay, you can want you just try some? No, I don't like oh boy. She didn't put anything on the chip. She just well, rubbed it around in there a little bit. I don't know where to go with this whole. I, wanted to taste I don't know what's happening. I wanted to taste the juices to see if I made a lot Oh my or not. gosh. Uh, this is a PG 13 channel, please. Let's keep it that way. And look at the look at the view I have right here. Oh, jackpot! I got football on. Okay, Matthew, you ordered what? Pepsi. And what do you get, Sharon? Frozen strawberry and margarita. Frozen strawberry? Okay, good. I got the jumbo margarita because I'm a jumbo kind of guy. Sharon, what do you got there? 
I have a frozen strawberry margarita. How about a margarita review for us right now? As you know, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> It's very, very good. Very good. A lot of tequila in this thing, I will tell you. So that means good. Good job. Nice work. Wow. What did you get, Jamie? That looks huge. I um, I wasn't that thirsty, so I ordered the small margarita. <laughs> small? Yeah, I didn't want the big one. I said, uh, just give me the small one. It's a kid size. Let's see here. Let's compare. I think I got the regular size and you got the jumbo size. Maybe I don't think I they make a small margarita Listen, here. Listen, if you know anything about me here on the channel, I do everything jumbo, baby. <laughs> Matthew, what do you got going on over there? I have got a cheese quesadilla. Keeping it simple, huh? Yeah. Okay, nothing wrong with that. It looks tasty, looks well prepared. Almost resembles a pizza. Uh -huh. Sharon, my lady, what have you got going on over there? I ordered a shredded beef quesadilla. Um, and look, it looks delicious. A shredded beef. And, oh my. Oh know, my. It's like some onions and peppers and other things in there as well. I can't wow. Wait to... Think it'll be as good as mine? Chicken? Yes. And it's going to be good. Oh my. Oh my. This is good. This is gonna be so messy. I don't know. I might have to like cut it with a fork. Yeah, we're eating fork. We're eating fork tonight. I think that's why I ordered this as um, my meal. It's an appetizer, but already cooked. Um, the waiter said that the portions were quite large. So. Well, I must have missed that part. Um, I think he, he actually told you twice, Jamie, because I think he. We kept wanting to order food. All right, Sharon, we get the point. There's a lot of food, but I'm going to eat it, and we'll see how I do in a minute. Give me a few minutes, okay? We'll check back and see how Jamie's doing. Matthew, how are you doing on that quesadilla? I'm doing good. Almost finished. Attaboy, attaboy. Sharon, how are you doing over there? Uh, I am, I am I'm feeling almost full, and I haven't even finished half of it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, it's right. so messy that I have to eat with a fork. <laughs> So good to eat it with a fork. And uh, I've already taken my first bite of the burrito. And I've already finished half of my quesadilla. So I'm doing well. I'm still standing or sitting. And um, so far, so good. One thing I want to say about this place, it is so cute. The decor, I just love it. Um, look over here at the table. I know it's messy, so you just ate there. But look at how cute the decor is. All the painting and everything. Even right behind so you, look at those cute. guys. Oh my gosh. Looks like a happy couple. How about me? What's behind me? It looks like a horse's butt behind me. Oh no, that's just me. There is a horse's butt, Jamie. Look right up there. Well, you're making a little bit of a dent there. A little bit of a dent. Let's look over here. So far, I am three quarters away through this quesadilla. That's right, there's only three pieces left out of the original 12. And over here, we've got well more than half of the burrito handled. I think I'm doing a great job. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. So um, whatever I take home, it'll be a late night snack, an early morning breakfast, one or the other. But it will not, I promise you, it will not go to waste. All right, so the end of the meal is here. Sharon has had her plate taken away, and she got a little to-go box for her leftover quesadilla. Matthew finishes his quesadilla. Let me tell you guys how I'm doing on my meal. The margarita will be gone before I leave the building. I decided to leave the quesadilla where it was and focus on the chicken burrito. It was amazing. All of it was great. Thanks, El Tapatio Mexican Restaurant. It was amazing. Good service. Amazing food. Great menu to choose from. Um, i tell you what. I think this is highly recommended by Sharon C. Travel. Sharon, can you give me a thumbs up? I do. A double thumbs up. This was awesome. Great and who service. picked out this place? <laughs> Matthew. And nice work, buddy. He did, he did research online and he found this place, picked it out, and he's already picked out our place for breakfast in the morning as well. So I can't wait to try that place out. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. Sharon, you can testify to this. In the cruising world, which we're a big part of, uh, we love to cruise. You may know that already, but you know what we say, guys? No drink left behind. So let's make sure that we honor that age-old tradition, shall we?
Thank you guys, great night, appreciate you. Bye, thank you. All right guys, we decided to take another lap around this amazing property here. It, last night we kind of showed you the front part and off to one side, all the Christmas lights. Tonight we're in the back area where it's all lit up as well around the pool. They have a really nice large pool here and jacuzzi and there's tiki torches all over. It's just amazing what an experience this is. It's awesome. Too bad we forgot our towels because the hot tub is open for business right there. The hot tub is open. They got a super nice pool, which you might want to come back and check out during the summertime. Very nice, large, um, very resort-like. For a small hotel here in Flagstaff, we're pretty blown away by the whole deal. Ooh, more Christmas lights. I just love this place. into Christmas trees everywhere all lit up this is amazing I feel like it's just miles of Christmas trees Wow all right so a few steps outside of our little lodge area of the hotel we find all this amazing stuff going on it is Christmas we are feeling festive Especially after that amazing Mexican dinner. Am I right or am I right, guys? Oh my gosh, yeah. And now just a short walk right back here to our hotel gets us back inside. All right, guys, so we're going to head back in now. We've got our um, fix of our festive, festive decorations, I guess, stop, 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 stop. Uh, how, how many yeah, margaritas did you have I at dinner, talk. honey? <laughs> Anyways, we are going to hit the sack because we were going to get up really early tomorrow. We have a place that Matthew chose to eat breakfast at right and early, and then we're going to head to Sedona. So we're going to, I guess, call it a night, crawl in bed, maybe watch a movie. A and turn the heat on. <laughs> yeah, watch a family movie together and pass out. So we will see you bright and early in the morning for breakfast. How's that? Perfect. Good idea. night, everyone.